pleased. I really dig your company. You know, a lot of women like Nicole are getting sucked into this illusion of the celebrity lifestyle. But I'm telling you, nothing is what it seems to be. Everybody wants to look like the celebrities. Everybody wants to have star style. Meet Philip Block, Hollywood stylist who creates many of the trend-setting looks. I have worked with almost every major celebrity in Hollywood. Everybody from Sandra Bullock, Halle Berry, Jessica Simpson, Selma Hayek, Kim Cattrall. This whole massive obsession with celebrities and fashion, it's a really strange phenomenon. Now, especially with like all the tabloidy magazines, everybody can see every cream, every lotion, every earring, every bag, every hat, every shoe, every everything that every celebrity has. Designer handbags selling for thousands of dollars. Every girl has an obsession with bags, especially these days more than ever. Bags are big, 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 big. It's the Kodak moment when you're on the red carpet. It's what it's all about. It's the hype, it's the publicity, it's the glamour. The reality is they get zits, they get creases, they get wrinkles like everybody else, and it's all airbrushed. Celebrities are given everything for free. If Jessica Simpson or Paris Hilton or Nicole Richie wears something to an event, everybody else is gonna go out and buy it. Hey! <laughs> I'm so glad you made it. Oh. I'm so excited. Here we are in the tent. So I've invited a few friends to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, so we can record this right. moment. Yeah, we Definitely, I think the viewers out there, people think you have a great style. How do you have like such great personal style? Over the years, like I think I've come a long way, definitely. <laughs> Looking back at some old footage, I'm like, who is that girl? I don't That's know who that is. is. <laughs> you feel more sexy in yourself than rather the outside sexy. I never thought I was good enough. So I needed, I felt like I needed some kind of distraction, you know, some Isn't crazy amazing? outfit. Isn't that amazing? Someone as beautiful as you, as talented as you, and you think you're not good enough. And we all have those moments from time to time. But now it's, I think that, you know, I, I do love passion, and I've learned a lot. And once you once you start to become addicted to it, you can't stop. There's no <laughs> going back. I know. My accountant knows all about <laughs> it. So I pulled out a few things in advance for you. I know you love heart. I do. I love hearts. Do you like to wear necklaces, or do you prefer an earring? Uh, depends on if the hair's pulled back or down. Ah, so if the hair's back. If the hair's back, I like to have an earring. And if it's down, then it could be a necklace. Yeah. Oh, there's a good tip. That's a good tip for that people That is a good know. tip. So here we are at the W Hotel's VIP suite back here. My friend John is here. And he's got the gift bag. It is a bed in a bag. So for our favorite people at Fashion Week, so you never have to leave your bedroom, you have a year's supply oh. of Trojan condoms, so you <laughs> never have to ever leave your bedroom. I think these would be good for Philip. <laughs> Is this us, really? Yeah. Woo, I love it. Look at that that is cute. cool. Where's Betsy? <laughs> Betsy? Betsy! 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 <laughs> What's the inspiration? This is Carmen's well, first time in the tent. So I want to know um, what she It is for. inspired by one of my past husbands. How do you make gorgeous clothes for everybody from 16 to 60, but that are affordable? Because you managed to do it, and it's affordable. When everybody else is making $50,000 dresses. I, wore, I, I, I never liked clothing to cost more than a round trip ticket to Puerto Rico. That's how I started there you go. out. <laughs> You know, can you tell right away, like, oh, this isn't going to work, or, oh, this guy's going to be great? You, yes. You know how I can tell? How? If they pull and they work the hair, and then I know they know what they're doing. Oh, if they're, if they're afraid, if they're afraid to, yes, you know, pull a little too hard, to just get on in there and do your thing. I like Dive it. on in there, baby. I like it. Woo! <laughs> it's like a man who knows what he's doing. Exactly. You know? exactly. A little hair pulled never bothers me. <laughs> So what did you guys think of the show? That was like being in a pub. I it was loved amazing. it. Amazing. Did, yeah, really fun. What did you like best? I love the colors. It was so vibrant. The colors were great. Reds, blues, greens, very vibrant. And then lace. I liked all the I lace. Was it romantic? Yeah. Are you wearing the, sh the Chanel boots? Yeah, I am. Out here to show off some of the ensembles worn by Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway celebrity stylist Philip Block. Welcome. Yay. Thank you. This is definitely power dressing. I love this. It's a bronze jacket from Bill Blass. 
Amazing. Is this right. Bill Blast? Bill Blast, $7,500. But Meryl was this two years ago in the film, right? So how did you get this? We borrowed it. You've got a very good staff, Barbara. We twisted arms and we borrowed it from a lady on Who Park Avenue. Uh. What I'm wearing is a eight or nine-year-old Bill Blast. Uh -huh. Still has Timeless. And the new the new design of Michael Bobrick for Bill Blast is wonderful. Oh, he's Still amazing. Michael does a great these, job. These things great. go on forever. The bag from Chanel. I love that little bag. The smaller they get, the more expensive. $1,925. Yes. And the shoes oh by Marc Jacobs. What? More money than anyone could ever carry in the bag. <laughs> well, um, once you spent all your money, you can't afford You don't even no, have any money to put in the bag. Wow. And don't yeah. let go of that bag. A gorgeous nude sequin jacket top from DKNY for $325. Mind you, the jacket was $1,830. Oh, that jacket? That oh. jacket. And it shredded. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> the skirt is... Who dresses like that? You that could kind of use that as a doggy raincoat, the little spat yeah, yeah. afterwards. <laughs> the Emmy Awards. Curb Your Enthusiasm star Cheryl Hines is getting ready for her big night. And we are with her and fashion expert Philip Locke. First off, shoes at Jimmy Choo. Does it make you feel better when you have a new pair of shoes? Yes. Stylist Philip Locke has dressed Hallie, Sandra, and Jada. Now he's helping Cheryl put her best Emmy foot forward. That beautiful bliss. Now it's time for the main attraction, dresses. Well, we've had really good luck with Valentino yes. in the past. You know, three when you were nominated, we had that gorgeous black ball gown. It was sheer, sexy, glamorous. I love this whole Grecian design. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And you get to see some legs. Wow. And this would work great with that Jimmy Choo shoe. Finally, we're off to Badgley Mishka. Look at this. This is beautiful. <gasps> Party in the front, lunch. classy Ooh. in the back. But of course, it's about matching the shoes. That could be gorgeous with the green dress. Mm. All right, I guess we're going to do the green dress. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is Paris, the home of fashion. Style is kind of who you are and what you make of it. After all, this former model and designer is no stranger to fashion. Perhaps the brightest in the bunch is the charismatic Philip Block. He was the first stylist to really come into some prominence because, again, you know, he's a shrewd guy and he recognized there's an opportunity for stylists to suddenly be stars. And he started giving a lot of interviews. And he kind of had the Oscars all to himself. He was the guy who all the major young actresses wanted to dress them. I've always heard his reputation. He's like the best in the business. Um, so I was expecting a lot. Mm. That's gorgeous. All access television, yes. This is the source. Club Flow tonight, 52nd Street, New York City. Total bling bling. Well, I know. These are not my little personal trinkets, but I'm going to be modeling some, some brand new cuts. I hate you, too. I want to get a cross like my daddy. All right, I think maybe. I think we'll get that. You hear that, Puffy? You can here we are in Hollywood, and it's all about the Oscars. I'm the man you want to talk to. If you want to cause that little bit of stir, that water cooler talk, let's face it, basically after the Oscars, you're all going to be talking about what they were wearing the next day. Why watch if you don't? And the winner is not the best actress. Who's got the best dress? This year, I had the best experience of my life. I got to dress the winner, Halle Berry. That dress stood out and I said, that's the dress of a winner. I guess I wasn't wrong, was I? Her stylist, Philip Block, gave us the close-up on the Harry Winston jewelry she wore. It's the only pumpkin diamond in the world at $3.5 million. So one might wonder, why does a movie star have to come to you? And when they do, do you say to them, this is what your image should be? What do you tell them? Well, you know, it's so difficult when you go to a wedding or just any kind of function. You know how hard it is just for anybody to find a dress, and they don't have the time. They're like everybody else. They have the arms that are flabby and all the things that everybody has to work with. Too, right? I get to see the men's got the arms that are flabby. I get to see it all. So you have to have naked first, and then you got to dress them. So we see everything. Dateline invited fashion stylist Philip Block, author of The Elements of Style, to tell us why and how the Oscars have become the Super Bowl of fashion shows. It's a ball. It's like going to the biggest prom. No tie, open chokers. It's all about your choker. choker. I got a choker. Your choker. Take exactly. A got your bling bling on. Are you uh, Euro glam right now? I'm sort of Euro glam. Why are you? I got my Samsonite little jacket on <laughs> you here. Look fantastic. You know, it's got like buttons. It's got zippers. It's kind of got. <laughs> <laughs> it's Philip Block. He defies a category. 
<laughs> this is not just a charity event for Philip. It is also a personal crusade. He lost his mother to breast cancer three years ago and decided to team up with a corporate powerhouse to fight back against the disease. And who better than Avon? I hope that no one's family, co-workers, or neighbors ever have to suffer through what my mom went through or what my family went through. Tell everyone what you're doing. It's about the little black dress. Right. It's all about little black dresses, and it's an Avon breast cancer crusade. Do you have any larger black dresses? <laughs> well, I'm hoping maybe. Because I might have a few to put in there. Well, nice to have you here nice with to us. Be here. This is really great what the fashion industry is doing, Philip. Everybody just was like, here, take my dress. And this right? is a Britney Spears dress. Everybody's is it really? favorite, yep. She wore this to the American Music Awards. This is my favorite thing, Cheryl Crow's Lord's Leather Pants. Philip Black has been a terrific partner to Mervyn's and to the community closet. Uh, he comes in here, he donates his time, he makes these women shine. But to be able to really change their lives so that they have that willpower and that self-esteem to go out and do something for themselves is really, really great. We have a great champion right over here. USA! USA! I think we're going to start with Neighbor Trump. Stylish to the stars, Philip Block, and a team of makeover experts are giving Tammy Faye an elegant new image with the help of more than a half a million dollars worth of dazzling diamonds, courtesy of Harry Winston. Wait, the real stuff really sparkles, doesn't it? <laughs> she brought a few things of her own that we might not get to today. What? I can't get it off. Hold your phone. Watch it. She uses that excuse every damn time so she can get to keep it. I am so tired of that. I cannot get it off. Great. That was really, really great. So March, we're going to see these on tour? We're going to go on oh, tour. Yeah. We've seen them before. I'm staying at the Hotel de Cap, and it's like $30 for a bottle of water, so I was like trying to make a little extra money once here, so I was stealing bags at the <laughs> event. And I got Seal Awards bag, or Swarovski bag. Is this gorgeous? But as I realized, she had been stealing from Giselle Bunch. And look, I got her bra. Giselle's bra was in Seal's bag. It's so everybody's scary. been taking from everybody, Everything is what you right. say. And then I found I found Calista Flockhart's bag. And I want to put an end to the rumor that the girl does not eat, because look what I found inside. I think every TV show, in its own way, influences style to some extent. Madonna was feeling cowboy, and like Michael Kors and Dolce & Gabbana were feeling cowboy all at the same time. As Hollywood's premier stylist, Philip finds the frocks and dreams up the looks for glamorous galas and fabulous fashion photos. He knows the naked truth. Philip shares these secrets and more in a new book called Elements of Style. The book's profits are being donated to AIDS and breast cancer charities. I have a really great life. I get driven out in the limo to a glamorous photo shoot and fly back on a helicopter and I get paid for it. I get lunch, I get to hang out with y'all. I feel very blessed. <laughs> I've lost one.